how does the conversion tool handle a file cabinet site? So using um, Becky Loker's elementary school um, curriculum site, basically it has resources for elementary school teachers to use in, um, in their, you know, their jobs. Um, you can see this is the old page and I have converted this over to a new Google site. So this is what the classic page looked like. Um, the site was very robust, had many, many, many um, different pages with many, many sub pages. And then those sub pages had their own sub pages. It was a pretty complicated site. Um, here you can see under content resources, uh, planning documents is a small filing cabinet. So this filing cabinet uh, allowed her to add uh, files from her computer, add links to other websites, add um, files from her drive, and then um, even create and move these things around into um, one tier deep subfolders. Pretty cool. Um, also by default, it had a commenting tool and all that, um, which generally I advised people to turn off because it's more trouble than it's worth. So over here, you can see the same page converted over. Um, so if we take a look, uh, we have, this is the classic site. We've got six files here. If we go over here, uh, here it is again. So um, I'm going to go ahead and preview it here so you can see it as if I was a um, staff member coming here. So there's six files. Now, because the file cabinet had a subfolder, those subfolder files got separated um, from, the, from the rest, which was kind of an interesting choice by the conversion tool. If I click these links, it goes to um, Google Sites and says, hey, um, you know, here's uh, here's the link to these files. These files are owned by somebody else, um, and you need their permission to access it. It's pretty interesting. Um, same thing here. If I click on it, okay, I that one apparently the permissions are all right for, but here you can see it's hosted on um, Google Drive. Now these other documents right here, these are all Word documents as well. Um, this time around, these four got put into a folder. So if I click any one of these, it will go directly to the, the file. If I click here, this uh, box in the top right corner, it will take me to the folder where everything is stored. Because what happened here is you can kind of see at the top, um, in my Google Drive, since I'm the one that initiated this conversion, it built a new Google Drive uh, folder hierarchy mimicking her website. So um, I have some regrets about doing this because now I have copies of all of these documents in my Google Drive and I didn't want them. But it does show um, that the conversion tool is very, very powerful because any and all attached files or um, filing cabinet files that it could get a hold of, it um, built a folder hierarchy for them and stored them in those folders. See, I could I could basically explore her entire site through this folder hierarchy that was created, and everything from PDFs to Word documents to Google Docs that she had at the old site has made it over here and is stashed away in these folders. So, was it a flawless conversion? Uh, no. Um, she, you know, if you had a site like this and you converted it over, you would definitely want to go through and um, make sure everything was there, clean everything up. But man, would that save you a lot of time from having to rebuild the entire thing from scratch? Um, and I had mentioned that her older site had a very large menu hierarchy, so many sub pages with their own sub pages and subpages of those subpages. And you can see that uh, that has been carried over. So if I go to grade one, reading, uh, and then curriculum, you can see how deep that menu system now goes to accommodate how deep the menu system went on her previous website. Pretty cool. 
And the best part is, is when I am done with what I'm doing here, um, I can publish it. And when I do so, I can uh, basically steal or inherit the existing URL. And now when people go to that URL, they won't go to my old site. They'll go to my new site instead. So um, just a really great, powerful tool. Kudos to anybody that had the patience to wait for it to come out. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it definitely is going to save people a lot of time who still have classic sites that they want to convert over. So there's really not much to teach on it. Um, but if you do have any questions about it, um, I'll try to answer them if you, uh, if you send me an email. Um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your week. And I hope that this tool and this video um, prove helpful to people. All right.